there are few questions that are very much confusing and uh, many of the students of astrology and those who pursue these careers uh, they have they know these these answers they want to know these answers so uh, here we have the answers for these uh, frequently asked questions and we'll discuss these questions now the first question do functional benefic planets can cause ever harm very important question and it is a question of million dollars yes the functional benefic planets do not cause harm to other planets when weak and afflicted they can cause harm but to the native and just because they fail to fully protect and promote their general and particular signification it means that even the planet is weak even the functional benefic planet is weak it will try to promote its natural and general signification that is to do good to the native but if it is weak or if it is afflicted then it will cause harm to the native because it will fail to promote its general and particular signification so a functional benefic planet must be strong to give its auspicious results now does the classical astrology rule that stipulates that natural benefic planets in malefic houses are well placed and are capable of producing good results no see even the functional malefic planet or the natural malefic planet is in a malefic house the nature of a malefic planet is to cause harm to the house whether it is a benefic house or whether it is a malefic house suppose venus being a functional malefic planet for pisces ascendant it is in the fifth house or saturn being a functional malefic planet is in the sixth house so in both the cases because functional malefic planet are in houses number 5 and houses number 6 6 is a malefic house and 5 is a benefic house but in both the cases the functional malefic planet venus in fifth house will try to damage the signification of the fifth house similarly the functional malefic planet saturn will try to damage the signification of the sixth house so this is a rule that functional malefic planet whether they sits in a benefic house or in a malefic house they will always try to harm the signification of that house the only exception is if the functional malefic planet is in its mool trikona house that is suppose sun is a functional malefic planet in pisces ascendant and if sun is placed in leo in sixth house then because it is in mool trikona house so it will try to promote its signification its general and particular signification even if it is in a malefic house but consider the case of aquarius ascendant here mercury is present in the fifth house in the fifth house of intellect so mercury is present in gemini in the aquarius ascendant in the fifth house but it is a functional malefic planet as its mool trikona house rules the eighth house the eighth house of obstruction the eighth house of delay the eighth house of destruction the eighth house of struggle so the eighth house of accident so 
being a malefic lord in the fifth house will it will damage the signification of the fifth house even if it is in its own house the only exception is if this functional malefic mercury would have been in the mool trikona house that is virgo in the eighth house then it could have promoted a general and particular signification so even if the functional malefic planet as in the case of aquarius ascendant if mercury is in gemini in fifth house so it will damage the signification of the fifth house as been a functional malefic planet even if it is in its own house the third question could not the lord of the 12th house placed in the 6th house result in financial solvency through loss of debts during its operating period if well placed and aspected by transit the answer is no rather it is the other way around there are further losses through worries avoidable expenses loss of comforts loss of sleep losses in foreign lands to interpret it correctly it means the signification of the 12th house are lost and gets involved in disputes and losses see when a functional malefic planet is in other functional malefic house then obviously that we have discussed in our previous question it will damage the house so if the lord of the 12th house is in the lord of the 6th house then it will damage the signification of the 6th house as well as the signification of the 12th house because being in the 6th house its signification is been damaged that is badly placed and as been a lord of a malefic house it also damages the signification of the 6th house so there will be losses that is the signification of the 12th house in the areas denoted by the 6th house that is there will be losses by disputes that is there will be losses by litigation there will be losses through enemies so a functional malefic planet always harms a house in which it sits in case a functional malefic planet sits in other malefic house then it harms the it harms not only the signification of the house in which it sits in but also its general and particular significations are harmed so quite interesting keep watching me and subscribe me for more frequently asked questions till then take care